I've had a few people ask me to do a what's in my bag video for 2020 because I've kind of gathered a bunch of different gear over the years. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna just show you all the gear that I have and why, and then actually move to what I carry in my bag on a regular everyday basis when I go out. And the first thing we're gonna start with is tripods. And before we do that, I just wanna say, everything in this video I've actually purchased myself unless I say otherwise. I do get some stuff to try out, and I'll make sure to note that when I'm talking about that gear. So let's check out the tripods. I actually get asked a lot about tripods and gimbals. Um, and this entire rig here was given to me to try out, so I did not purchase this, uh, but it is my favorite tripod and gimbal rig that I've ever used. So this is the Pro Media Gear Katana Junior gimbal. Uh, lightweight aluminum, actually weighs pretty much nothing. I don't know the actual weight, I just know it's very light. It's all ball bearing, um, it's tough, uh, it's easy to use. I've been using it for a while. I've been using it with my Sony 600 millimeter prime. Um, does great. This tripod, I don't know the actual model, but it's Pro Media Gear's tripod. And I've carried it around and beat it up pretty good and it's handled things pretty well. But my favorite part about this tripod is actually cool. It's this ball here. So instead of having to always adjust the legs to make the tripod stable, because I might be using the tripod in unstable places, you know, where the one leg is higher than the other, you can adjust the entire head right here. It's a little squeaky. It's because I've used it out in the salt air. Probably need to clean it a bit. But anyways, you can adjust the entire thing without having to adjust the legs. Now, with all that said, I don't use tripods very often. I prefer to handhold all of my gear. It's just faster for me, it's easier. Um, I get better results. But when I do use a tripod, like in really strong winds or if I'm doing video, this is my favorite. And I have another one, I'll go over that as well. All right, so this is the other tripod setup that I carry with me. I typically keep both of these in my car. Um, that doesn't mean you should come try to take them out of my car. So they're only in my car when I'm out shooting, not overnight. You should never leave your gear in your car overnight. In fact, I think Jared Poland did a thing on that where he called everybody, well, never mind. You might know him, maybe you don't. Anyways, <laughs> this is the other tripod that I use. This tripod was actually given to me by my friends at B&H. Um, the brand is Robus. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a great tripod. I've used it, wow, for over a year and a half, taking it all over the country, beat it up pretty good, and it's held up to the abuse. I like it. This gimbal is the Pro Media Gear Katana. I showed you the Katana Junior earlier. I actually bought this myself, and I've had it, I don't know, for a couple of years now. And it's big, it's bulky, it's very heavy. In my opinion, it's a little bit too much for what I need now, especially with the the lighter gear that I have. And just by way of comparison, so this is the original Katana, and this is the Katana Junior. Just so you can see side by side, it's much easier to use this one, and I highly recommend it over this big one. While this big one does work, I think it was mostly made for the bigger, heavier lenses that we had back in the day, um, but it's still a great system on its own. So those are the tripods, and now I'm gonna kinda go over the gear that I have that I don't always bring out with me on an everyday basis anymore. So the first is the trusty D850 with the grip and the battery. Excellent camera, it served me well. I'll never let go of it, I love it. Um, and mounted on the front is my Nikon 20 millimeter 1.8 beautiful lens. I've captured some amazing uh, wide angle landscapes with this combo, it's just incredible. Um, another thing that I really love is this Sigma 50 millimeter art lens. And it's probably the only third-party lens that I've had good luck with. I do not like Tamron or Sigma lenses generally. I've just had a lot of bad luck with them, but this one has been really good to me. I also have the legendary Nikkor 200 to 500 lens, another lens or item that I'll never let go. Um, great camera, I mean, great, great lens on both the D500 and the D850. So another excellent piece of gear that I'll never let go of, but isn't seeing a lot of use these days, is what my son affectionately calls the Gicon because it's a giant Nikon lens. So this is the trunk that they give you these uh, prime lenses in. And inside is my beloved Nikon 500 F4 GED. This lens is beautiful, um, especially on the D850. They give you this little hood here. 
And then this hood here goes on like that. And now you can see why my son called it the Jicon. It's a pretty big lens, <laughs> but it's fantastic. Um, I think it's uh, my favorite Nikon lens that I've had. Um, and I'll never let it go. I know a couple of other good photographers that use it too. I know Isaac Spots in the Tetons. He carries this big old beast around with him up in the hills of the Tetons and he gets some gorgeous images. This is a fantastic lens and it will always be part of my collection even though I don't use it as often as I used to. Now into the Sony sphere we will go. Um, this doesn't come with me all the time but this is Sony's 90 millimeter macro lens and this lens is absolutely beautiful it is quite easily the best macro lens i have ever used granted i haven't used a lot of macro lenses but this thing on the sony a9 and it's just like macro heaven i actually had some friends that attended a workshop with me in november in costa rica they didn't have a macro lens but they had sony and i let them use this the entire time they loved it they actually went away with a a big print of a red-eyed tree frog that they got with this on the A9 and have it printed on their living room wall. So that's always a cool thing to see. This is a fantastic lens, I love it. I'm not technically a macro shooter, but when um, I do like to try to do that stuff, this lens is just, again, I, I can't say enough good things about it. And this was my first actual Sony lens, the 100 to 400 lens. I love this lens. Um, but I don't use it as much anymore because I've got something else that I tend to prefer more. This has become more of a, um, a walk around lens for me. And if, if I need you know, the ability to move from 100 to 400, it works well. And believe it or not, the minimal focal distance on this lens, I think is like right around a meter. So at 400 millimeters and a meter, you can kind of get away with some cool macro style stuff with this lens. It's really, really cool. Um, I also have the 200 to 600 lens. And again, I mostly would use this for video and I really only care for this lens on the body of the A9. Um, for whatever reason, I just don't like it on my A7R4. So these don't always come with me unless I think I'm gonna be doing some video. So they've kind of sit on the shelf until those times happen. I know this is a what's in my bag video, but this, what I'm filming with right now is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And check this out, look, do you know who this guy is? He's a pretty good guy. Um, anyways, this stays in my pocket at all times because, well, it's a great B-roll camera, run and gun camera. The exposure and dynamic range on it is absolutely incredible. And then you don't need a gimbal. You can walk around with this phone or even drive down bumpy roads and it's like silky, super smooth. So the iPhone 11 Pro Max is in my pocket at all times and I use it constantly to get uh, like wide angle B-roll stuff that you see in my videos. All right, so this is my actual bag and what I carry in it pretty much all the time now. So the brand, I'm not actually too sure. Looks like Ruggard. I don't know, I got it just because it was able to fit a good size lens while it was still attached to the body in it. And I've used this bag a lot. I've used it on my boat. I've used it on my kayak. I've used it on a bicycle. I've used it hiking with all this stuff in it, which actually isn't too much stuff. And it's been excellent so far. So the first thing, it's not really too important, but to me it is. And that's not necessarily the brand, but these lens tissues. These are the only things that I will use to actually clean the front and rear elements of my lenses. And if you look, I have to use this. It's like a real thin lint-free paper it's almost like rice paper um, but this is the only thing that I've used I find it works great removes everything from the front of my lens so stash that back there in my little spot let's take a look at what's inside the bag look how it's nice and secure take this off if you want but I tend to leave that there because you can do it this way instead but pull that up and inside, look at this. Ta da! Have my Sony 1 4 teleconverter. Fantastic piece of equipment. Works great. No loss in anything when I use that. My trusty little A9 with the uh, battery grip, so I have extra battery power. This teleconverter is almost always mounted on this 
canine, unless I'm really, really close. And then this, this is the A7R4 and the Sony 600 millimeter F4 lens. Oh man, it's a beautiful combination. Um, I put this on here, not because I wanna be camo and not be seen. I really don't care about that. I put it on there just to give the lens another extra layer of protection. Um, oh man, this is easily my favorite uh, camera lens combo for wildlife. Um, it is amazing. So you get this little hood. Sometimes it's good for a hat, bellhop type hat. But then you can take this lens hood right off. I just want to show you something kind of cool. Put the lens hood on. And it obviously it looks like five times the size that it really is now. But this plate is kind of important to me. This is from Pro Media Gear, the people that make the Katana um, gimbal that I have and the tripod. I like this plate because it extends the reach of this foot because I have hand holding most of the time. I love to put that foot right at the heel of my hand there when I'm holding and it gives me some extra stability. Even though this isn't really a heavy uh, camera combo, it's still nice to feel solid when you're holding it and that's how I prefer to hand hold this entire rig. So that's what I carry in my bag almost all the time now. The Sony a7R4, this beautiful 600 f4 lens, the A9 and the Sony 1.4 teleconverter. Great stuff. So that's it for what's in my bag. This little guy wishes he could come with me all the time. He's a good little guy. This is Roscoe. He, he doesn't come in my bag. He's a good guy though. So if you have any questions about any of the gear that I have, um, go ahead, leave them in the comment section below. Compiling questions for some good old question and answer videos. I'll have one of those coming up here really soon. Um, let me know what you think. As always, leave comments. Uh, click the thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later.